how to make these alkanes and we know the general formula let's talk about the isomerism of alkanes so let's take an alkane with five carbon atoms so this will become C5 H12 this is pentane now let's make isomers for alkanes with this with this molecular formula we can make structural isomers so this is pentane the straight chain hydrocarbon the straight chain isomer or we can have this uh, this isomer and uh, so let me explain what this isomer is first carbon well let's first number the carbon atoms so 1 2 and 3 or 3 and 4 so you can see that there are two chains we can make one is from going from 1 to 3 over here or going from 1 to 4 over here so you can see that the longest chain has four carbon atoms in this case and that's why if you will take the longest chain this 3 on the top will be wrong because it is not giving us the longest chain this 4 is giving us the longest chain and therefore we can conclude that there is there is a methyl group which is a CH3 group attached to the second carbon atom so this becomes 2 methyl 2 methyl because a CH3 a methyl group attached to the second carbon atom and then butane butane because it has 4 carbon atoms in total so 2 methyl butane now we can make more isomers for this we can make another isomer so now if I start numbering this this will become 1 2 3 or 3 or 3 so you can see that whatever route I take the longest chain I end up getting is 3 carbon atoms and in any case there are 2 methyl groups on the second carbon atom so this will become 2 2 dimethyl propane now let's understand how we got this name propane because 3 carbon atoms in the longest chain dimethyl because 2 methyl groups on uh, 2 methyl groups in total and 2 2 because 1 methyl group is on the second carbon atom and the other methyl group is on the second carbon atom so 2 2 dimethyl propane now these are the three structural isomers that we get uh, if you do not know about structural isomers you should visit my playlist on introduction to organic chemistry there I've covered structural isomers and um, let's now check for stereoisomers again stereoisomers is another thing I covered in the introduction to organic chemistry playlist so uh, so let's check for stereoisomers now all three of these we can say that all three we can see that all three of these do not have carbon carbon uh, double bonds and they do not have any chiral centers and therefore there will be no geometric isomerism and no optical isomerism respectively so there will be no stereoisomers for each of these uh, molecules and therefore uh, there will only, the, in total including both structural and stereo there will be three isomers for C5H12 three, uh, three uh, alkane isomers now now let's see what these chains tell us about the properties of these of these uh, molecules now pentane as you can see is a straight chain isomer straight chain hydrocarbon however 2 methyl butane and 2 2 dimethyl propane are branch chain isomers because you can see there are alkyl branches coming out from the molecule so the thing is that straight chain isomers will always have a higher melting point and a higher boiling point compared to their branched counterparts because uh, because uh, the fact that their straight chain gives them a very large surface area and this allows for close packing of other propentane molecules with, with, uh, with each other so because of this close packing of other pentane molecules with each other the van der Waals forces between the straight chain molecules is are very strong and since the van der Waals forces are very strong uh, the melting points are, uh, I mean very strong compared to the other isomers I'm not saying they are strong in terms of magnitude but they are relatively strong compared to these two isomers and therefore compared to these two isomers pentane will have a higher melting point and higher boiling point so straight chain isomers will always have a higher melting point and boiling point compared to their branching, uh, bran branching counterparts and this is all because of the close packing between the molecules that the straight chains allow so alkanes are generally used in fuels now let's see how these alkanes are obtained so these alkanes are obtained from crude oil crude oil is basically uh, 
found under the sea. Uh, it's it's fossil, basically fossil fuels, which are the remains.